गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल आई एम सुदर्शन आई एम थर्ड ईयर एम बी यू स्टूडेंट एंड टूडेज टॉपिक इज एच वन एंटी स्टेमिनिक ड्रग्स सो वॉट आर द क्वेश्चन दैट आर आस्क इन यूर एग्जाम रिगार्डिंग एच वन एंटी स्टेमिनिक्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दे विल आस्क यू द डेफिनेशन मैकेनिज्म ऑफ एक्शन क्लासिफिकेशन एंड एडवर्स इफेक्ट एंड यूजेस ऑफ एच वन एंटी स्टेमिनिक ड्रग्स सो वी विल गो वन बाय वन इन दिस वीडियो आई हैव कवर्ड ऑल दिस पॉइंट्स इन जस्ट टू पेजेस and uh, i will give you the tricks to remember these points very easily so let's start first of all definition the drugs that antagonize the effects of histamine by competitively blocking the h1 receptors this is called as h1 antihistamine drugs next is mechanism of action in this case uh, antihistamine drugs act as antagonist and histamine act as agonist on the h1 receptors so antihistaminic drugs they will competitively blocks the effect of histamine on the h1 receptors this phenomena is called as competitive antagonism now classification in classification h1 antihistaminic drugs are divided into uh, first generation and second generation so in first generation there are three sub types highly sedative moderately sedative and mildly sedative drugs first of all highly sedative trick to remember this is phd doctor p4 promethazine h4 hydroxyzine d4 diphen hydramine and doctor for dimen hydrinate now moderately sedative trick to remember this is pcm p4 phenyramine c4 cinarizine and m4 meclizine then mildly sedative trick to remember this is just add chlor and dexlor to the phenyramine this phenyramine okay so the drugs are chlorpheniramine and dexlorpheniramine next is second generation or non sedative antihistaminic drugs trick to remember this drug is flake so f for fexofenadine l for loratadine and desloratadine a for azelastin and mesolastin c for cetirizine and levocetirizine and e for ipastin now the next point is uh, therapeutic uses and adverse effect first of all therapeutic uses of h1 antihistaminics they are used uh, the the uses of these drugs are based on three properties first is sedative second antihistaminic property and anticholinergic property so trick to remember this therapeutic uses is alia with p4 m3 c2 vertigo vertigo so first of all a4 allergic diseases like itching uteric area fever l for laryngeal angioedema i for insect bite a for anaphylactic shock so in case of laryngeal angioedema and anaphylactic shock antihistaminics are used secondary to the adrenaline so in these cases primary treatment is adrenaline injection so uh, secondary to that antihistaminics are used P4. P4 means char uses जो P से start होते हैं First of all, poisoning, IV poisoning, pruritides, Parkinsonism, pre-anesthetic medication. So in case of pruritides, chlorpheniramine and diphenhydramine are used. And in case of pre-anesthetic medication and Parkinsonism, promethazine is used. Now M3. M3 for motion sickness, muscle dystonia, and Meniere's disease. Motion in case of motion sickness, promethazine is used. It should be taken one hour before the starting uh, of the journey. And next is muscle dystonia. In this case, parenteral promethazine is used. And Meniere's disease. In this case, beta histine is used. C2. C first C for common cold. Second C for cough. In these cases, also then chlorpheniramine, diphenhydramines are used. Next is uh, vertigo. Last use is vertigo. Now we will see the adverse effect of H1 antihistaminic drugs. So side effects of first generation or H1 antihistaminics are frequent, but generally they are mild. So trick to remember this adverse effect of H1 antihistaminics is my sad fruit. What my sad fruit? Okay. M I for motor incoordination, S for sedation, A for alcohol synergizes the effect. It means what? Alcohol worsens the condition. D for diminished alertness, F for fatigue, 
R for restlessness, U for unable to sleep, and I for impairment of psychomotor performance. This is the most important uh, adverse effect. Uh, in this case, uh, patient is cautioned to avoid motor driving. Uh, and last uh, use is for T for tendency to fall asleep. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, do subscribe to my channel.